Hello everybody, Ben here from Happy Hannon Studios, bringing you the quickest review in the Midwest today. So first of all, I do want to thank you all for your patience. I was tired today. I got to be the photographer at Now That's Wrestling Presents Now and Forever at the Dome, of course. So I was a little tired today because I was the photographer and was running my little booty off. So, aside from that, let's get started with the fastest review in the Midwest Wrestling today. First thing that happens is we get bad news from Josh. Josh was back. We love Josh. But he gave us bad news. There's supposed to be a non-sanctioned fight between Ben McCoy and Ruthie. Canceled. Neither of them were there. Really? I know. I was disappointed, too. I was disappointed. So the rumor is that Ruthie is chasing a tan in Florida. I mean, come on, Ruthie. You're from Manitowoc. You're never going to tan. Stop trying to chase it. Heard Ben McCoy. He's chasing mad dogs in Japan. Come on, Ben. That's your past. Stop chasing those mad dogs. We start out with the first match of the night. Classic Alpha with the one sweet medallion versus Mike Jarrett, who had no clue he was in the match. Versus Kellen Quest, Josie Valentine, and Craig Covenant. Being honest, thought those three were just fillers. Really, really thought Mike Jarrett was going to win this match. Surprise! Craig Covenant won the match and holds the one sweet medallion, which allows him, as long as he continues to hold it, to take a title at his will. So yeah, I would give that match a 7 out of 10. Next up, Mad Cow versus Adam Christopher. Mad Cow, the master of the moose. Uh, thought I, I thought he was going to take this match. He did not. He lost to Adam Christopher. Afterwards, there was a milk bath as well as a beatdown. Mad Cow covered in milk. And Adam Christopher beat down. Next up, we have our first title match of the night, the Mid-Valley title, Kaiser Permanente versus Randy Fitzsimmons. Winner Kaiser by a brutal ankle lock. That, I think he must have gone deaf during the match because he, he didn't let it go when the bell rang. I, I He would never do that purposely. Kaiser is not the type to hurt people. Per, you know, he just isn't. He just would never do that. He's a kind human being. Uh, so, he holds on to the title, and the McClure family continues to be the dominant faction. Next up, Stash, Dance, Revolution, XTC, and Porn, Stash, versus the best friends, Johnny CK, and newest member, Preston Palmer. You could tell Preston's still trying to get used to being the good guy. Still did a little nasty. Uh, winner, XTC and Porn, Stash, who... Have some new music, which I, Ben, am a huge fan of. Happy Hannon Studios approves. Next up, uh, Xavier Michaels, Glam God, and Roy Cooper, Beauty and the Beard, versus OWO member Steve Sawyer and not one other dang member of OWO. They all abandoned Steve Sawyer. Uh, so he got a good replacement, Miles Mason, or as I like to describe him, the master of the chop. Uh, winner, Beauty and the Beard, despite the fact that the first layer of Glam God's chest was absolutely missing. Um, Miles Mason, every time I've seen him, impressive. So, Arcadius versus Robbie Lovitz. Arcadius pummeled Robbie Lovitz. Robbie Lovitz stood no chance. Uh, the win there was no winner. It was a no finish because uh, Arcadius wouldn't stop choke slamming him. Uh, there will be a uh, Adam Christopher will be taking on Arcadius in a Ruthie's Rules match at the next show. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, Perfection, the now that's wrestling champ versus Jimothy. Uh, Jimothy won, except Perfection's arm was. Under the rope. So they restarted the match due to Senior Zebra 
TJ. And in the end, Perfection held on to the title with, of course, no help from anyone. So the McClure family, McClure family, swept the night, of course, as always. Uh, real quickly here. So seven for the first match. Uh, I would give the Mad Cow versus Adam a seven. Uh, Kaiser versus Randy an eight. Stash Dance versus Best Friends. I would give that an eight just because of all the gummies. Uh, Xavier Michaels Roy versus OWO Steve Sawyer and Miles. We give that an eight. Arcadius versus Robbie, a five. Uh, simply because of the no finish. I am not a fan of no finishes. Perfection versus Jimothy. They did a great job for missing one of the ring ropes. Um, I would give them a 7.5. And that was the night. Uh, as I said, missing ring ropes for a big portion of the night. Because, uh, according to the dudes, uh, the, it was a uh, C. Martin McClure cutting the ropes. So, really, good night of wrestling. All in all, I'd give it an 8. Um, I was running like a chicken with my head cut off, taking pictures, which I will be posting very soon. I'll watch for those. I hope everybody has a happy night. Keep happy. Be happy. If I don't see you before, good morning. Good afternoon. Good night.